In this short MZMind video, we're gonna talk about how to assign MSMS scans to features. And this is particularly interesting and important for all the projects, MZMind projects that were generated with version um, 2.37 or earlier, because in 2.38, uh, the MSMS data structure changed a little bit. And so all older projects don't have all the different MSMS scans assigned to the feature, but only the uh, most intense MSMS scan. And so if we look at the at any of the um, feature lists here, we have the different features and the MSMS scan is uh, was typically assigned in the deconvolution step. So after building chromatograms, we deconvolve them into features and we set up an MZ range and RT range. And within these boundaries, uh, all the MSMS scans are now um, assigned to the features. But before version um, 2.38, only the most intense feature got assigned. And so um, we build a new module and this module uh, supports some greater flexibility. So if we open up an old project, we can just go to um, peak list methods and filtering group MS2 scans with features. And then we can supply retention time tolerance and MZ tolerance. And within these tolerances, we are gonna assign all the MSMS scans to the features but we can also limit these by the RT edges of the feature. So if we have the peak and maybe we have some isomers that are uh, eluding very closely, uh, we can set this uh, to just only assign MS2 scans if these MS2 scans fall within the boundaries of uh, the specific features. And if we run this and uh, we open up the uh, feature list, we can go to uh, all MSMS scans and we can now see we can now see that we have multiple MS2 scans assigned to uh, the same feature and we can even see uh, where the scan was taken.